Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to take a look at the second half of the Passion Charger Acrocanthosaurus versus Tenontosaurus, seeing the really cool diorama that they have recently created. And obviously today we are going to take a look at the Tenontosaurus side of things. So we've got a very nice herbivore, and just like with the Acrocanthosaurus, I am quite confident that this is the best Tenontosaurus in my collection, and there is like not even a remote question about that. This is just a gorgeous Tenontosaurus with a really cool dynamic scene taking place with the dinosaur. You can see it's running along again. What I had stated, it kind of feels like it's running along like a mountain ledge or something. Like maybe there's like a cliff over here. So the Tenontosaurus is almost like terrified. Like, where do I go? Because he's got nowhere to go on this side. And the Acrocanthosaurus is quickly approaching from behind. But you can see again that there's like a really cool running pose for the Tenontosaurus as it's just running along, attempting to leave the Acrocanthosaurus Tenontosaurus in the dust, however, it's not working out too well in the favor of our poor Tenontosaurus. And again, just like the Acrocanthosaurus, it is such a beautifully done model, just showing so much realism to the scene and also including an absolutely incredible dinosaur model without question. This is of course going to come in an unpainted and unbuilt kit. You have to build it and then paint it yourself or of course send it out to a paleo artist to do it for you. So this is the paint scheme that I came up with for mine, which again, just like the Acrocanthosaurus, I was actually kind of happy with. So that's really nice because I often don't get very happy or pleased by my paint job. So it is nice to actually have two, especially when they go together, that... I was pretty content with not quite as nice as the Acrocanthosaurus, but still pretty fun looking paint scheme, I guess, for the dinosaur, hopefully a potentially realistic looking one. But let's just go ahead, jump straight to a closer look and you can see how incredible this Tenontosaurus is up close. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Tenontosaurus, you can see straight away just how beautiful the actual detailing is. Like you can instantly pick up on how nice the skin texture is if my camera would stay focused on it which it doesn't seem to like doing, but you can see how beautiful the actual texturing is. The scale detail looks really nice, as well as just generally like the structure of the head just looks incredibly well done. You have the nostrils sculpted out up there at the tip of the snout. Beautiful sculpt to the eyes. The ears are sculpted out. You have all of the, you know, the usual details you would expect to find. Nothing has been missed here on this Tenontosaurus. You can see that the beak as well looks great from a detailing standpoint and the mouth is open really wide and that is obviously due to the fact that this poor Tenontosaurus is currently being pursued by an Acrocanthosaurus. So you can see a genuine look of fear on the face of this dinosaur and I absolutely love that aspect of the model. The inside of the mouth is also really well done which you can see if my camera again would focus on it which it really does not seem to want to do. You can see the tongue and stuff in there. There we go, we're focusing a little bit. The inside of the mouth in general looks really good, even though it's very small. You can see here with my finger, it's pretty small mouth, so you can't see in there all of that well because of the shadows and everything kind of overtaking the inside of the mouth. But you can get a pretty good idea of how nice the actual detailing there is inside the mouth for a moment before my camera you know, goes out of focus again. As you start to lead back into the neck region of the Tenontosaurus, you can see the throat is very nicely elaborated down here. You can also just generally see that the skin texture looks phenomenal, just like we saw up there on the face. You have like rows of osteoderms or scoots that run along the dinosaur throughout the entire model. And uh, you can see those start to pick up here as well. And uh, again, some nice length to the neck, some nice structure to the neck. It looks beautiful as far as that goes. As we lead back into the body, you can kind of see like some skin wrinkles there, but you can see some skin stretching there due to this front leg here running along. Beautiful front leg sculpt here. You can see the elbow sticking out. The wrist is very nicely sculpted out as well. And the feet are beautiful up here. You can really see how nice they look. The claws are all very nicely sculpted out on the dinosaur. So a very, very nice looking sculpt. Even the undersides to the feet look great. And then as you move back here into the body a little bit further, you can see like a lot going on here as far as like the stomach region. It's really nice and open wide due to the long strides that the dinosaur is taking. So you can really take in just how nice the actual texturing to the skin is here in the stomach region, as well as just generally like the structure of the stomach region here of our dinosaur. You can see some skin movement again, shown with like wrinkles and stuff, the skin stretching off of that leg right there. 
You can also see more of those kind of scoots or osteoderms or whatever you'd like to call them that run along the back of our dinosaur. Again, some more really nice creasing going on right there. As we lead down into the thigh, you can definitely see some very nicely displayed muscle tone in the thigh. Moving down into the leg, you can see again the entire leg looks great from a detailing standpoint. The foot is just leaving the ground so you can see only the toes are really touching it, which really shows off the speed that this Tenontosaurus is currently picking up because Again, most of the body is off of the ground, so the feet are only touching for just a split second while it runs along. You can see that the opposing leg is off of the ground already. This foot, again, is just leaving the ground, so the dinosaur is clearly in a hurry to get away from this Acrocanthosaurus, as quite obviously its life depends upon that. And you can see some nice detailing there in the foot as you have like scoots running down the course of the feet. The nails down there look really good as well. And then you lead back up here, you can see some nice muscle definition in the thigh. And then leading out into the tail, again the tail is very big and bulky. Like you always see on a Tenontosaurus and you have some very nice detailing out here as those scoots and stuff continue to run along the course of the tail leading out here into the tip of the tail which also looks really quite nice. Beautiful tail there on our Tenontosaurus. This side again, you can see the like creasing and everything in the neck due to the Tenontosaurus having its head turned so sharply from the right as it's obviously trying to get away from the Acrocanthosaurus, keeping its head as far away from it and its neck as far away from it as possible, even though the Acrocanthosaurus clearly is gaining on it. As you move back here into the body, you can see more of those again, those scoots and osteoderms running along the back. There's like numerous rows of them, I would say probably about four or five. I think there's like five rows of them, one row running along the spinal column and then two on each side and you can see again like a little bit of girth to the stomach region of our Tenontosaurus so it's definitely a very nice well-fed dinosaur which for this is not really a good thing because that means that he's a very appealing meal to the Acrocanthosaurus. Again, more beautiful skin wrinkling and everything going on here in the stomach region. That front leg looks gorgeous over here. Again, as it's planted just for a second and just like the opposing leg, you can see that the toes are already leaving the ground. So it's certainly flying on by away from this Acrocanthosaurus. You can see some nice muscle definition yet again in the front leg over here as well as the elbow and wrist are very nicely displayed in the sculpt. You can also see how the skin is wrinkling here due to this rear leg pushing into the stomach region as it's running along again, just showing more incredible movement in the sculpt of this dinosaur. The thigh is beautifully sculpted back here yet again, and you can see again that the muscle definition looks nice, but you don't see as much of it tensing on this side due to the leg being up in the ground. You don't see so much tensing going on as it's not bearing any weight on the leg, just preparing to as that leg is probably about to tap the ground any second due to the running movement of this dinosaur. You can see the foot sculpt over here is incredibly well done. Again, a super realistic foot sculpt. Like it just looks so bird-like, but just in general, so incredible looking. The nails are sculpted out again, picture perfectly. And then as you lead back up here into the body, you have more skin wrinkles and skin creasing going on back here, showing again off some of the movement right there as you lead out into that very big, very thick and very long tail of our Tenontosaurus. Really nice curve to the dinosaur again showing just a lot of movement. It just looks fantastic from every vantage point. A incredibly well done Tenontosaurus and again definitely the best one in my collection. And then the base just like with the Acrocanthosaurus is just a really nice kind of a rocky and earthy type of an area. As the dinosaur is running along trying to save its life and escape from the Acrocanthosaurus and you can see that there's just so much detail included in the base just incredible amounts of sculpt and detail included in like the earthy areas as well as the rocks themselves like it just looks so beautiful and so realistic from every vantage point just again it amazes me that they go to the lengths that they go to to release such a high quality product and not just the dinosaur who is obviously the star of the show but even when it comes to the bases like a lot of the time when you'll get a base from a company it's you know it'll be a nice little earthy area but it's not as nice as this like they really have put a lot of detail and a lot of time into sculpting out the base and again it just pays off so much as far as the overall scene goes and you can again see that spot that's missing right there which actually does have the Passion Charger logo down in there, but that is because you take that little peg right there and you slide that in for our Tenontosaurus to stand on the base. But again, an absolutely amazing model, as always, from Passion Charger. And again, it's exactly the same as far as the Acrocanthosaurus. 
as far as the way you apply it because you've got that little like block right there to the foot and you just slide it into the base and there we go our tenontosaurus is now running along the rocky earthy area trying to escape its doom from the acrocanthosaurus that is pursuing it so as far as a size goes for a length being a tenontosaurus you should see some pretty decent length but the body is also curled up quite a bit so you won't see too much length as you know compared to what you would see if the actual tail was stretched out the head was stretched out but for us to have this really cool dynamic pose we absolutely need some curves and bends in the body so that it looks really nice and very alive but for a length from the tip of the tail here to the side of the snout of our tenontosaurus you're closing in on about seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters and then for a height I'm not too sure where the highest point would be i guess it would be the tail right here you're looking at about three and a quarter inches closing in on three and a quarter inches anyway or about the eight centimeter range and then to the top of the head you were looking at again about the almost two and three quarter inch range or about the six and a half close to seven centimeter area for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line, which the Colovasaurus fits very nicely under the tail of that Tenontosaurus. But in comparison to these guys right here, you should have a pretty good idea of the fact that the Tenontosaurus is not the largest model in the world, and it shouldn't be in comparison to the Acrocanthosaurus, but you can still see that it does sport some pretty nice size overall, and a very nice size as far as a Tenontosaurus model goes. And then the moment that I've been waiting to show you guys, and that would be the final product, the final scene here of the Acrocanthosaurus attempting to take down a Tenontosaurus, and it looks so cool. Like, the base is actually fit together really nicely there on the ends. So if you buy the pair, again, it creates one incredibly cool diorama, and the bases match up so perfectly. Like, you can see it looks basically like they were never separated to begin with. But the entire scene, again, that's taking place before us with the Acrocanthosaurus hunting and chasing down a Tenontosaurus is just so cool. Again, a moment of time taken straight out of history that absolutely had occurred at some point and brought to life here by Passion Charger. And I love the ferocious appearance of the Acrocanthosaurus as it 100% intends on that Tenontosaurus being its next meal, but yet the incredible look of fear in the face of the Tenontosaurus. It's all so beautiful within this model and I just love the poses of the dinosaurs, the sculpts of the dinosaurs, the bases, everything on this is fantastic and you can really see just how incredible it looks overall once the two again are together and completing the scene here before us. So this Passion Charger Tenontosaurus is yet again another fantastic release from them. And at this point, with having quite a few reviews under my belt from Passion Charger, I am confident that that is going to always remain the case with them. I don't think that they have ever created a bad product in their lives, and they probably never will. And one other thing that is quite fun about the Passion Charger products is that every single time I get one of their models, whatever species I buy ends up being the best version of that in my collection, which again really says a lot as far as the overall quality and beautiful sculpting ability of Passion Charger. But this Tenontosaurus again is a beautiful model, really nice, very cool action scene taking place before us with it running along. And again, just like with the Acrocanthosaurus, you don't need to have the Acrocanthosaurus with the Tenontosaurus for it to look like a beautiful standalone model. And you can purchase the Tenontosaurus on its own without the inclusion of the Acrocanthosaurus. I definitely recommend picking up both because it creates an incredible scene, but you absolutely do not need to have them, so you can just purchase the Tenontosaurus alone if you would like. And even still with the Tenontosaurus alone, it just has a really cool running pose as it's running along an earthy area, and the movement of that scene occurring before us is so perfectly and beautifully sculpted out in the Tenontosaurus model like I really love how like you can see how the toes are leaving the ground already even though the one foot is like up in the air and you could just see and almost envision in your head the speed that this Tenontosaurus is picking up as it's running away it's just such a cool very dynamic scene taking place before us that was perfectly sculpted out and brought to life by Passion Charger 
Like the actual movement shown on the dinosaur is so good. And that includes, again, the way that he has positioned the legs to appear as though it's running along. The very fine detail of the Tenontosaurus is just drop dead gorgeous, beautiful scale detail, a really cool kind of osteoderm or scoot like appearance running along the back of the dinosaur. Taking the term highly detailed, I would say to new heights would be this model. And of course, you have an incredible base that is just as incredible as the Tenontosaurus itself. And again, sculpted out to perfection with a really nice rocky area and earthy area and showing off again just how incredible the overall final product is once the two are combined. And then once you combine those with the Acrocanthosaurus, again, it takes it to even more higher of a appeal factor and just really gives you the coolest diorama possible, I would say. But of course, the paint job here was done by me. If you purchase this, you will get it unpainted and unbuilt. You will have to build and paint it yourself, which is a ton of fun, honestly. Like, I absolutely love building and painting dinosaur models. And if you are someone that is like, you know, a big fan of dinosaurs and you've never purchased a model, please pick one up and just give it a shot. It does not hurt to try. And trust me, you are going to fall in love with it instantly. I never thought in a million years when I was, you know, a few years back that I would be able to paint and build dinosaur models. And ever since I had actually begun doing it, it is like a straight up addiction. So trust me, if you pick these up and you paint them, you are going to be hooked. And it's something you're going to want to do all the time. And you're probably going to kick yourself for not doing it sooner. And again, like I had stated, you can paint it yourself, which is what I recommend, or you can send it out to a paleo artist and have them build and paint it for you. But either way, one way or another, I highly recommend both this Tenontosaurus and the Acrocanthosaurus, or both together. Pick them up whichever way you choose, but make sure that if you are interested, you check the links in the description, as I will have a link to Passion Charger on Facebook, as well as the listing on Dan's Dinosaurs, where you can, again, inquire about picking them up from either of those two places. If you would like to order from Passion Charger, you do not have social media, you can contact me and I will hook you up with Passion Charger and get this ordered for you as well. So one way or another, I highly recommend the models. Pick them up and own yourself this incredible diorama and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.